Morning. Morning. Happy Wednesday. Yes. I think then when you pause, I was like, oh my God, it's just Wednesday, it's Thursday. I just, I just can't get any of my days right. <laughs> it? It's Wednesday, hump day. Yes. Hope everybody is okay. <laughs> Today we've got a few, four push chairs we out have. to go through. Mm -hmm. um, again, they're ones that are often compared, aren't they, by Absolutely. people who do their video consultations and want to have a look at them side by side. Mm -hmm. One's a very new one. So maybe some of you won't have seen it. We have featured it in our lives before, though. We have indeed. And then our prize for anybody that um, comments on the live is the amazing Cybex Snogger foot muff. I know we are coming into the warmer months, but it's, it's, an, it's still a nice little... can you can still get cooler days. And the fact that you can open it up, baby can still get their legs and everything out and be um, a bit cooler as well if they need it. Adds a bit more padding to the seat, doesn't it? As yeah, well? that's right. We like it. So I'm just going to sort the iPad out and see if anybody has joined us. First good morning this morning was from Melissa. Good morning, good Melissa. Morning. Good morning, Kay Marie. A wave from Kaylee. Good well, morning, we'll Frank. Back. <laughs> good morning, Laura. Good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Kira. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning, Keely. Yes, Joanne, it is a lovely sunny morning today. It's very, very nice. I didn't actually want to come in the office this morning. I no. was like, oh, going right across here. the warehouse, it's like, oh, is it, is it getting to that, that summer word? Are we getting close to well, spring? I think summer? we need to get spring first. Nah, scrap You're just spring. Just go straight summer, summer. Yeah. <laughs> get the we legs out. We deserve it this year after oh, all yes. the crap. That's it. What did you say? All the, <laughs> all the stuff that's gone on, is that it? Yes, yeah. that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amy loves a pram comparison, always throws a span in the works. Yeah, I think it is good. If you've got your mindset on one, have mm -hmm. a look at some that are a little bit similar. Absolutely. Because then, like you say, it may throw a span in the works. You may think, oh, actually, I prefer the features on that. It's yeah. slightly differently done, and Absolutely. it might work better for you as a family. Mm -hmm. We try and have it as much as we can, but it's always nice to see similar comparisons which you can get with them. Absolutely. Anybody want to start with a particular pushchair? We have got... We've got the Eye Candy Lime. We have got the Casato Wowie. <laughs> you have to say, you have like to that. say the Wowie. We've got the Vinici Tinum over this side, and we've also got the very popular, as always, Oyster Three. It's a nice picture. Very, very pushy. It very is. Popular. It is really easy to use. You've got, definitely got some competitors against it. Yeah, yeah, Which they're coming really up nice. now, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So yeah, absolutely. Watch out. Make more and more people are wanting to compare. So, some comparisons. Oh, and Marie's got rain. Oh. oh, sorry about that, Anne Marie. We hope it doesn't come this way, though. No offence. <laughs> <laughs> no. We'd like to keep the No, don't going. send it. Don't share. No, no sharing's caring. We always say that. But exactly. Share if you like, you comment and everything like that, but not the weather. No. no. We'd like to keep the sunshine. <laughs> um, Melissa can't wait to get a washing out. Perfect. Yeah. Like on one of the spinny washing things. Amy's on a meeting, so she should also focus on that. But it's no, okay, just watch us. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, somebody said about the patterns as well. We've got quite we've got a couple with some nice patterns on for a change. Should we start as well, with Santa we? for patterns? Yeah, somebody actually did request that, so oh, yes. Read your Go mind, for read your it. mind. So this is the Cassata Wowie. <laughs> He's got to do the wowie. <laughs> So obviously like Sato, they are known for their bright patterns. They work with the Sussex Baby Centre, so very good with sort of stimulating babies. Their little um, imaginations go quite nicely with everything. Yeah. You get nice colour on the outside, but once you open it out from the carry cart, you get your nice bold colour and bold print itself. Yeah, it's kind of like the opposite, isn't it? You've got your, your mm. black and white on the outside and then fantastic colour and pattern on the inside. Absolutely. So again, obviously if you wanted a pattern push chair, but not too much of a, oh my gosh, pattern push chair, yeah. you can go for your nice dark on the it's outside. And yeah, if pop. it was the opposite, people may be like, mm. Mm, they're not too sure about that. Because yeah. the reverse, but, like, I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's just a bit of flash of colour from the inside. It's a bit of a, like a nudist, it's going to flash yeah. and you just flash. Laura says, because I have to do some amazing patterns, they do. They do they indeed. Really do. So you carry got yourself, does you from birth to six months, maximum weight is your nine kilograms. You get the nice little sun visor bit at the very, very back. And it's quite nice because obviously babies can't regulate their own body temperature to start off with. So it allows a nice extra little aid to assist with baby. And I like how the flap stays up. Yeah, it's really nice and neat, isn't it, pulled up like Doesn't that. flap back at all or nothing like Flappy that. Flappy fabrics. That's it, no flabby fabrics. Nice big carry cot itself. And as we've seen before, we get the liner and the mattress all included. Taking your carry cot on and off, you have got... A memory button just on your right hand side. Pop that in first. If I got my muscles today, be strong, Kirsten. I'm trying my strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just push the other button on the reverse and remove the carry cot straight away. So nice and easy. It's not too heavy. No. So if you do have to lift it, it's not too too bad. And it is okay for those temporary overnight sleepings. 
So you can keep your nice little centre where baby's used to, all their smells, all their lights. They can sleep in those temporary if you go on holiday or one little one down in the lounge with you. It's Same rain holidays. and strong winds in Devon as well. Oh. But Laura's got sunshine. Oh, that's good. Ellie Mae has no idea what the pram to get, so hopefully we can help you. If you do need any help, you can book a one-to-one -one consultation mm -hmm, absolutely. before the shop's back open, because we should be back up again soon, as I long know. as the 12th of April date doesn't change. I hope it doesn't, because that's no. when hairdressers can open up too. Yeah, so and yeah. I need something doing. So you're not working on them when you're actually at the hairdressers then? I'm going to make sure I'm at the hairdressers. <laughs> <laughs> Kenzie said this is a favourite at the minute, so I'm presuming oh. you're talking about the Wowie. Or my hair. <laughs> or your hair. Don't have it cut, Kirsty, it's my favourite. <laughs> no, it's going. <laughs> um, the frame is quite nice and light, and it's also not too wide, so you don't feel, obviously, when you are pushing that, you're going to elbow people out of the way, which is quite handy. You do get a nice size basket with a little pocket for your drink, as well as a little zip at the very, very back. The front of the chassis is quite differently designed, isn't it? How it mm. kind of tapers in and you have your front wheels on there. Does it well. make it sort of stick out or too heavy, no. which is quite mm. nice. Easy for durability, no, movability. <laughs> it's durable as well. Maneuverability. <laughs> you get a nice break at the very back. You've even got your pattern in the basket. I just, I can't see it from here, but I just saw it from the camera as well. <laughs> pattern continues all the way all through. The way. Get a nice flip-flop friendly break. So you just pivot on top. So in the summery months, you don't have to worry about scruffing your shoes, which is lovely. Just going to take out the adapters, which you do use when you have it in your carry cot mode. And you do get these included. So you don't have to worry about buying anything separately. The main frame, you can extend the height of the handle. So depending who's pushing, you have multitude positions to use. And also you don't want to be too stretched out or too T-Rex. You want to have a nice natural bend within your arm itself. If you do need to lock your front wheels for whatever reason itself, you have the paddle at the very, very front and you just slide it round, slide it round. You don't need to align them to lock them. Just give them a push and they'll lock straight for you. So nice and easy. You're not having to touch the dirty wheel itself. You're just manoeuvring the flap round and then you can easily go off again on a swivel, which is quite nice. Yep. Fold in the push chair. You've got in your main centre, it's very, very self. You want to slide the button. Trisha just asked, does it fold down easy to fit in the boot? So it does here indeed. we go, Trisha. So slide the button, re rev, and you're going to bend down together. So it's not too, I wouldn't say it's too bad a fold. No, no, it's quite nice and compact, is it quite flat? That's it, you've got a nice catch on the side, so it's not going to come back out on you. It hasn't got that tummy gap, but because it's not too big, you won't be able to, you don't need to sort of push it in so A lot of people are asking if it's light. Would you say it's light? I'd say it's quite light. Yeah. You push here itself, so the seat goes up to roughly about your 20, 25? 25, 25 kilo, yeah. 25 kilograms. So the frame itself has got to be a little bit heavier just to take that extra weight, but it's not a heavy frame at all. Release the catch. Open your legs out and then lift everything back up again. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Yeah. Your push chair seat. <clears throat> so they've done this from birth as well, haven't they? Mm -hmm. They're covering through your same patterns. You can have this one parent facing. Oh, bear with me. She's still new to us, so it's still just getting everything aligned. To lock straight in. Kirsty says. <laughs> there you go. There we go. So, as Kay says, you can have it from birth. You can just recline it all the way flat. Nice low flat seat in it, isn't it? And lower your calf rest. I quite like it because it will come around and hugs baby a bit more. And you do get your little head support all included, which is really, really nice. As well as, of course, the little toy that comes with it. I don't know what kind of animal it is or a creature. Maybe a monster, but a cute monster. Yeah, it's not. It's got ears. Has it got ears? Hasn't it's it? Got little ears. Is it yeah. Like a, a rabbit or a dog, maybe. Oh, we have a tail. Maybe yeah. a dog. I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe a dog. dog. A square dog. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can have square dogs. Um, Anne Marie's asked, does it also fold with the seat on? It does indeed. So we'll just show you some features just from these parts here. So you get your nice big hood, but you've also got your expansion as well. Laura said you can use it from birth. Yeah, you can use the seat unit from birth as well, Laura ventilation at the very, very top. And I think there's quite a big canopy for this cover baby. Yeah. Which is really Right really down nice. to the bumper bar, isn't mm -hmm. it? Covering the legs almost as well. Exactly. Especially in those summer months coming up, it's nice to have that extra cover. But don't forget, sun cream on their legs. Yeah. Because you might not think about it no. until they have until lots of legs. you get home and you've got red legs. Head support is a lovely touch, Susanna. Yeah, it's just adding to it, isn't it? If you're using mm -hmm. it um, 
from birth, it's just allowing you to give it a exactly. little bit more support for a nice tiny baby. Nice little padded for it, which yeah. is really nice. But you can take it out when you don't need it. No, absolutely. <clears throat> so, when it comes to folding the seats, which you can do parent facing. I know you can, but I don't know the Wowie very well, so I don't know. I know you're looking at me for confirmation. There you go. So you can fold yeah, it both ways. Parent facing or world facing, and she can be a freestanding push. I was like, they're going to Let's all do it. And she do <laughs> I it. was thinking, oh, is she going to do it right? <laughs> she like, did it. She know. did it. So yeah, it, it opens it up slightly at the front, doesn't it, mm -hmm. um, to allow for that just that extra seat itself. on there, but. It's still quite compact to put it all in the boot. Absolutely, and you still get your catch, so nothing's going to come back out, nothing's going to come apart itself, no. which is really Is nice. the hood SPF protected? Yes, it is. Is it UPF 100 on these new ones? I think it might be. I think it's higher, isn't it? Yeah. Well, modern things are changing so often these days. Yeah. And then sit her back up and then just correct her how you would like her to. Obviously, after you've sort of stopped looking at little one and wants them to go out ways, all you do, lift the seat, just getting it aligned, and the aligning. It's kind of, that's a bit like the B, isn't it? The mm, B, you have to, to kind of up. line it up. Then it's just making sure that. you align straight back into place. Lovely jubbling. Nice does the leg rest extend, Linda's asked? It, does, it doesn't extend, but it moves up and down. So down for a bit more leg room and up to support little legs. That's it. It's quite nice that it has that little feature. And I think it's also yeah. nice because obviously you can have their legs up with their back up. So when they're eating or anything yeah, like that, they don't have right. to choke or anything like that because they tilt. That would be good. We don't want any choking children. <laughs> <You> do not. <laughs> you can have the nice back up with their legs and naturally rested. Really Price-wise, um, there are some really good offers. I know we're nearly towards the end of the month, but the Wowie is on offer this month. Um, so your pushchair carry cot, cast, uh, carry cot uh, adapters, your port eye size, your adapters, and your rain covers is usually seven seven four nine five, but it's on offer for five nine 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 five. So just under six hundred pound for pretty much everything you need. If you want to add um, an eye size bundle, uh, an eye size. Sorry, a base to use yeah. your car, uh, car seat on. It's just another hundred pounds. It's six hundred ninety nine ninety five. So not too bad. No. For a really good push chair. As I said, it's not heavy. You do feel a little, you know, resistant against it. But I'd rather feel resistance than a really, really light push chair. Yeah. Your basket can take up to five kilogram weight wise, so it does sort of spread out quite a bit, which is nice. Yeah. So yeah. Also, your wheels are hard pressure, so no punches, no inner tubes are going to go. No. Which is lovely. That's the handlebar is adjustable. Yep. You can just squeeze in, change the different heights. Quite a bit of different room there isn't there you can go quite nice and low so if you do have younger siblings or depending on your height itself you can bring it a little bit lower or increase that height up to an i think a nice height i mean that's sort of my belly button height yeah I'm five so five, that looks so. like it would probably be a bit high for me yeah so for taller parents um Trisha says definitely something she's going to have a look at once the shops are reopened and laura says um it's actually her favorite out of the four she thinks Ooh, so far what weight does the seat take chloe's asked it's 25 kilos so like the max exactly. uh, there is only probably one tula yeah 36 kilos that's more like your runny but ones kind of things. yeah generally 25 kilo is your maximum for your weight limit. points yeah. yeah but no very very good push chair so that is oh. the Casado. <laughs> wowee be careful not to fall over collapse and, and break something <clears throat> and obviously, yes, you can get obviously matching foot muffs or foot muffs with it, but obviously our baby, our side bit snuggle will fit in there nice and simple. Yeah, yeah. Well, no matter what push chair you've got, we've not found one that doesn't fit yet. Um, no. The side bit snugger, because it's got your Velcro <coughs> can you reach? openings in there for your harness and your different harness heights, you can just open that up and slide any harness through there. So, um, it's probably one of the easiest foot muffs I think we've yeah, got. Yeah, it just sits straight on and then you can either have it um, completely done up and that cocooned bit round baby's head or can have it a bit more open. Exactly, allows a bit more freedom depending how baby yeah. wants it. I mean like today it's really nice but it's also quite windy so yeah. you can sort of have it more closed around them but obviously it opened if they want to. Yes, K Marie, it's 25 kilo weight limit <coughs> on the Casato. Melissa's asked if a buggy board fits. Now with it being a newer push chair, Casato don't do their own, no. so I can't see it. it's been tested just yet by more universal ones like Lascal, no. but you can always check on their compatibility. But it's always saying with new products that like haven't yet tested and with everything yeah. going on, it's a little bit more difficult to, yeah. to find out testing for them. Any of the matching accessories, yes, you can buy a complete bundle 
um, with a Wowie, with a matching changing bag and foot muff and car seat so and everything. If you want it, seven hundred and ninety nine ninety five. Changing bag in the yes. same colours, and it comes in multitude of colours, yeah. and it's got knobs on the bottom. Oh, always a good sign of bottom. a good handbag. I love knobs on the bottom of handbags. Don't you <laughs> smile at me? <laughs> good quality. It means when you put it down when it's wet, yeah, your knobs keep it's your bag dry. Protecting a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. See, clever things they do think of. What's your favourite Wowie pattern? Um, I like the gumdrop. I quite like the orange. Do you so, so orangey? I think that's good. Yeah. 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 There are some really nice patterns. If you've not seen them, take a look on our Facebook page or website and you can see them all on there. But and then let us know there what are you some like. amazing colours. Huh? I said they can let us know what they like. Yes. Let us know your favourite. If you've seen any of the other colours. They're very, very nice. Sometimes maybe like the orange one I've just said, very you won't miss it in the crowd yeah. kind of thing. Sophie says, can you put different brands of car seat on the Casato or Prams, or does it have to be Casato car seats? And then you can buy the universal adapters for the other push chairs. Mm -hmm. I've not seen them yet for the Wowie. Don't think so, so at the moment. At the moment, maybe not, but they do on the others. Somebody's also asked the length of the snogger. Don't know the, the full length. Don't know full measurement <coughs> of it. But if you put it maybe next to a seat unit, just so you can see. Actually, that's a good colour match. To oh, how do we Get you. I didn't even plan that. So if that's in there, you've, it does extend past the footrest. So. so if that is at the top of my harness, and that's the bottom of my footrest. They're loving the matching um, bag. Gem loves the orange, so orangey, and Gemma is agreeing with me and loves the gum, goody gum drop I pattern. See. Yeah, and Brotherton, she loves that too. Laura likes the My Town. Mm -hmm. There are so many different patterns, and the nice thing, they can match your own personality, which yeah. is really, really nice. Oh, Melissa loves the blue due to her first, due her first boy after five girls. Oh, lovely. Be Very a bit of a change nice. for you. And I'm sure those five girls will look after their baby brother as well. Absolutely. Push him or, you know, become the mum. Going to be mothered, aren't yes. they? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. This one is your eye candy lime. So this one here, you've got obviously your main carry cot, which does your birth to six months. We've got it in the uh, navy, I think this one colour is. It is. Um, and how eye candy work, they are a one frame, two fabric. So for the first six months, you're going to use your <coughs> carry cot fabric. It's a li lime lifestyle, isn't it, That's bundle? It, yeah. So it comes with your carry cot, your seat unit, your matching bag and your duo pod, which is your foot muff. I don't know why they call it duo pod. Well, I do. Two uses, yeah, a liner or a foot muff. But yeah, it's yeah. generally most of like that, aren't they? This one sort of have different names, like upper baby have Gnu. Ganoush. Ganoush. Yeah. I've got to be careful how they say that sometimes. Ganoush. Ganoush. And then a normal like foot muff. Ganoush. Ganoush. <laughs> Where are they? Ganoush. Ganoush. Google it and tell us what it means, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice big carry cot because obviously the frame itself is going to do you up to the bigger seat unit itself, which is really nice. Yeah. The carry cot itself, your apron is just held on via a popper and then Velcro's just around the edging itself. So a nice deep carry cot, and this carry cot is suitable for permanent overnight sleeping. So it's quite nice if you don't want a Moses basket or a crib, you can easily take this one with you. And Make sure your carry cot use just lasts a bit longer. It's not just while Absolutely. you're out about, you can use it in the day while there's napping or Absolutely. even overnight or while you're traveling as well. Get a nice standard hood, but then you can have your extension as well. So that does allow a little bit more coverage from the carry cot position. Plus also having your ventilation at the very, very back itself, which is really, really nice. It's a little bit flabby fabric, but I don't mind that too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of got that rim around it, hasn't it? That's to, it. to hold it back, but it's not tight to the... Um, no. Tight to the hood. <laughs> no, we don't want tight hood. <laughs> Taking off your carry cop, you've got your memory buttons. So all you do is lift up, lift up, and then remove with lifting the carry cot. Nice and easy, nice and simple itself. You do get included. You probably couldn't do that if baby was in there though, because no. the weight would keep it down. It's just when you've not, you'd then need when it's to an get hold of it at the same time. You do get included your elevators. I do love this about eye candy. Mm. Car seat adapters and elevators included with your bundle. You don't have to buy them separately, so it's not thinking, oh, will this fit, won't this fit? Yeah, you've got to look together. You get that so many times for push chairs that don't come with it. I've got this car seat, what adapters do I need to use it on this push chair? Exactly. Don't need to ask that question of eye candy. Got it all there. So you get them all included. It just allows, if you want to one a little bit more higher to you, because your natural height for your lime carry cot is maybe a little bit lower. Kirsty said, does the eye candy come in other colours? It does. So we've got Kirsty says yes. Taup. <laughs> yes, that's Kirstie a lovely... Kirsty says to Kirsty. <laughs> Taup's a lovely colour. Yes. Very, very, very it's nice. It's kind of like a brownie... Would you say like a, a toffee kind of colour? Yeah. 
toffee. Brown doesn't sound very nice, does it? It is nice though. It is, it is a nice colour. Um, and you've also got a grey mm -hmm. and I, I a black. Like the the grey is quite a nice colour as well. I've seen it in the changing bag, so it mm. is very, very nice. Yeah. I like it. Nice big basket. I mean, check the size They're loving the navy though. Yeah, it covers the whole bottom. So the eye candy lime is the smallest sister of the eye candy orange. So it takes some features from that, doesn't it? And mm. so it's got the huge basket like your orange has and it's got that little step at the back. You've got your integrated buggy ball, which can take up to a maximum weight of 20 kilograms. I'm not going to tread on it because I don't are you, are you more than 20 kilograms? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, is she inside me in some way? <laughs> so yeah, it can, check him. can take up to 20 kilograms on the back yeah. of your integrated buggy board, which is a really nice little feature. So if you do have orders, or obviously it's got one there, I always think with buggy boards, obviously because they stick out a lot more from the pushchair itself, you might have to change your structure, how you walk. Yeah. Whereas when it's integrated, you They're can right walk in there, aren't they? Absolutely. There's nothing added to it. Um, Sky has asked, does the frame come in a black or a chrome? Uh, it comes in just this it's colour, just the phantom. phantom, isn't it, that the um, the new lime comes on, I'm afraid. So the it's kind of like a gunmetal-y yeah. colour, isn't it? It's not chrome, it's not and it's a not matte. Black. It's not, it's kind of a bit in between. It makes a nice, nice difference. sheen to it. Yeah, I was going to say, because obviously you can shine a bit more. It's not like a normal classic mirror chassis. No. It has a little more character to it, which is it really, really nice. Yeah. Nice and easy to remove the carry cart. Adapters look easy to remove as well. Yeah, just one button and lift. Mm -hmm. Is the lime heavier than the Wowie? <laughs> a little bit. But we can check the actual weights for you, so um, just send us a message and we can let you know. We'll let you know that one. We should have really written those down for you. We, we can only remember so many numbers in our yeah. heads. That's, that's the thing. Maximum weight limit. You see, you know, it's 20 kilos, so it's a little bit less. Um, 25. Than you can oh, yeah. I'm talking about the board. 25 kilos. Kelly. <laughs> so it's 25 kilograms for the push chair I'm just going to leave the um, demonstration <laughs> to Kirsty. So the whole push chair seat itself can go up to maximum weight of your 25 kilograms which is really, really nice size weight and it's going to last you a long amount of time. Your brake at the very back is a kick down and she is a kick up as well. So not necessarily class is that flip flop friendly, but she's not a heavy kick up. So you're not going to damage your feet or your flip flops, which no. is quite handy. And Anna was just saying it looks a bit lower than the Casato. Is it suitable for taller people? Well, because you get your elevators, it is a bit, quite a bit lower when you've not got those arms. Yeah. But once you've got your elevators, it, it brings it a lot, it a lot higher, higher, higher and closer to you. Yeah, definitely. You can extend the height of the handle. So depending who's pushing or what feels comfortable, it's nice and easy to do. Just squeezing the button to change the height up. And again, that's a nice adjustment, isn't it? Absolutely. It's one of the things they're living the board. There nice and easy. Yeah. I quite like the board. They're living the board. It's I a do. nice little yeah, feature they really have. It's really good. I have a laser toddler, a buggy board will be a must. Ah, there you go. Perfect. Does the eye candy come with a bundle with a car seat, carry cot and seat unit? Yeah, if you buy it just as carry, uh, the eye candy lime um, lifestyle bundle, it's £750. Um, but you can buy it in various I different bundles. I think you can bundles. get it with the Cybex Cloud, Cloud Z and Z base at the moment. Yeah. So quite yeah. a few different but bundles. But the bundles are on the website, so you can have a look. Folding the push chair down, you have your main button just here and another side button at the top. What you want to do is squeeze the handle button and push that button and then you're going to push and make them kiss together. So press, press, kiss, come down and then bring up your strap in the middle and you're going to pull the frame back together as one. She's all locked together. Freestand, free we do love a freestand. Oh, I've just got to say, Jo, Jo Meakin is a regular. She um, comments quite a lot Lovely. on our posts and our lives. She's just said, I know she's been, she must have been pestering. She says her partner has finally said she can have a new push chair, but she's finding it hard to choose because she likes too many. Ah, oh, very so, nice. Congratulations on being allowed a new push chair, Jo. <laughs> <laughs> well, the line might be a good option, you know. It's yeah. quite a nice, I put like push chair. Yep. Tummy gap already there. You got your grey catch just on the inside. Just relax the frame in a little bit to release the catch. Your legs are going to roll out on their own, and then you lift the handle up nice and easy. Peasy peasy. Nice and simple. Is the line better than the Upper Baby Cruise? Are we on about personally or productly? Well, I, th I think the thing's an aid, it's an aid that's asked that. Um, it's horses for courses. 
what's going to be perfect for you is not necessarily going to be perfect for us. Yeah. So there are quite a few different features, both really good products by mm -hmm. really good brands. Absolutely. Um, both the higher end of the market mm -hmm. um, and that the products reflect that. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. But yeah, they're going to they're gonna have features on some that people are going to love. Absolutely, and things that aren't people are going to like. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It's always one of those questions when they ask, you think, is it personal or are they asking yeah. professional? <laughs> <laughs> Bit of both. To lock you at the very front. Claire's just come up with a business idea. Oh. There should be a pushchair rent shop so you can take it home and have a play before deciding. Very nice. Yeah. That's what we're, the store is here though for. Hopefully <laughs> we help you play with it enough to then go home and make your decision. Make the right decision. So to lock the wheel, just get it aligned first and push in the catch. Push in the catch and you're locked in. So this one you do have to get them aligned to have that yeah. locking feature to them. Oh, Gemma says her baby boy bump must really love our voices because he moves around in her tummy so much when she's watching. Oh, that's sweet. Hopefully he'll like to continue watching us when he's actually born. Exactly. Or might think, no, I want to watch Oh, DVD God, I thought that voice was so different. You know, like when you, when you speak <laughs> to the phone voice. Phone quite a lot and they've got a nice phone voice and then maybe you see them in person, it's not what you imagine no, at all. completely different. You're like, oh, I get it now. I get yeah. it now. Oh, Angela Allen, she's just got her delivery. Thank you. Good. Glad to hear it, Angela. I think I spoke to you recently. I she think thinks. the name rings a bell, so <laughs> I think I spoke to you. So that's so, good. Now when she pushed her seat, so what we've done is the same frame. We've just taken all the carry cot fabric, so I'm storing that somewhere safe. We're then going to attach on your push chair fabric seat. It's not difficult to do, and because you're only going to do it once, you don't need to worry about doing it on no, and off. No, so on it just puts some people off, doesn't it? But it's it not. It's not too difficult. Um, no. We've obviously done all the push chairs ourselves in the shop, so we do know how to do it. It is nice and easy and yeah. simple. If you did need, if you do buy, obviously you think, oh my gosh, what am I doing? We can always help and talk you talk through, through it, it, which is quite yeah. nice. Yeah. You're going to reuse your hood and your bumper bar from your carry cot itself. So you know you're always going to have that gorgeous big hood plus your expansion and your ventilation at the very, very top. So that always stays with you, which is really, really nice. Somebody's asked, um, what's the difference between the lime and the peach? That was Sky. Um, so you, you, they're different shaped chassis yeah. to start with, aren't they? You, mm -hmm. I think you, your peach is more of a rounded chassis, whereas it's a bit squarer like the orange. Yeah, a bit more square. You do also you get an integrated buggy board with your no. lime, whereas you don't with your peach. But you can buy a separate buggy board from it's Eye like Candy. It's a little step, isn't it, that, that fits Catches to the back. On. Um, your lime is just a single push chair, whereas the bigger version orange is a single to tandem, yeah. whereas your peach is a single to tandem as well. Absolutely. Sometimes they have so many different configurations, you think, well, what's the yeah. difference between this and yeah. that? When so you're looking at just a picture, it's hard to know, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Seat units are a different shape. You need to talk um, to us. Yeah. But if they're two that you want to compare, obviously, we can put them side by side and show them in absolutely. a video consultation We well. do have them in store at the moment. Yes. Taking your seat on and off, again, you've got your memory buttons. Lift, lift, and lift up. Chloe can't decide between the Lime and the Wowie. She likes the patterns on the Wowie, but the board on the Lime. See, I per what well, out of the four we've got here, Kelly, which ones would you go for? Out of all, all of them? The four we've got here. I think maybe the lime. I, I do like, so I've had the upper baby Vista mm -hmm. for two of my children, and I love the elevators, the high elevators. Yeah. I like having them quite high, so I love that eye candy include them with your bundles. Obviously, oyster, there's some great features on your oyster that we'll come to in a minute. Mm -hmm. Tinnum's a really nice one as well. I like their patterns that they've put on. I'd go for the lime. Exato, nice. <laughs> yeah. I quite like the lime push. I do like the lime. You've got a bunk, a bu 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 Most people hate their phone voices, Melissa says. Yeah, when we watch our lives back, if we have to watch them back for any reason, which we like, do we avoid, don't do it, it's yeah. like, oh. It's like I sound like a 12 year old, but I don't sound like a 12 year old in person. No. <laughs> Open swing. Sky says the seat looks big. Absolutely. Nice big seat. Open swing bumper bar itself, so easy to get this one in and out of. And your seat part obviously will take you up to 25 kilogram. Now, because obviously you have got your integrated buggy board, if you do have an older child on here as well, you then change the weight of the system. So, what you then will have is if Kirsty can remember where she put the elevators. Oh, Melissa would love to come to the shop, but she's too far away. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, but if things open back up again, chairs, yeah. come and visit. Somebody said that she could come have a holiday. There you go. <laughs> a holiday to push your expert. So, oh, if you Sarah's joined us this morning. She loves the built-in ride on board on the line. Yeah, if you've got different age children, it is ideal. So, your buggy ball would take you 20, and then your seat will take you 15 if you have an older child. If it's just a child in the push chair, it's 25. So, it just for the weight purposes, just spreads it out a little bit more, which is quite nice. Another nice little feature which the line does have is you can fold it with the seat attached. 
but folding it yeah, well facing. Yeah, forward facing and with your adapters off. I think yeah. it would probably make it stick out too far. I think so, yeah, it make it more on. awkward. So oh, even though it is a um, bucket seat, you see it completely folds in half to protect it. Somebody did ask this question, so we've shown it. Kirsty's worried that if she waits until April to order, it's not going to come in time for a due date. <clears throat> what what is your due date, Kirsty? Usually we say it's like maximum, at uh, minimum, sorry, of like four to six weeks to kind of. Yes. If it's an in stock item, it's going to be with you next day, so it's not at the end of the world. But if it's something we've got to order in, just with everything going just, on, yeah, we don't whatnot. know if there's any delays on the particular project. We don't want to set your heart on something and then not be able to get it in time. No. But at the same time, your push chair, your car seat, yes, you definitely need that as soon as baby to get baby home from hospital, mm -hmm. but. It's not the end of the world if your pushchair doesn't arrive. I know you want to have it all there ready and to have a play and yes. everything, don't you? But, but it's not you're a probably major... not going to go for a, a trek. No, for the first the couple of weeks. The same day maybe. baby arrives. No. So that's your line. Oh, 1st of June is a due date. Yeah, so you'll be fine ordering April. I'll say plenty of time, yeah. Yeah, April, yeah, April, May, June. Well, she's the first of June, so yeah, a couple of months you'll be fine. April, I think you'd be okay. Chloe with. Smith, I'm due the end of May, so shouldn't wait. Yeah, like I said, it depends what you're ordering. You can always drop us a message and just ask if, it, if you've got an eye on a particular one, mm -hmm. just kind of ask what um, wait times are like, yes. order times, and also whether we keep we hold them in stock. We don't hold everything in stock, but we do have a good amount in stock. Absolutely, absolutely. We work quite well with the manufacturers, so they do let us yeah. know updates and everything like that. Yeah, we get our stock off. availabilities uh, most weeks from most brands. Absolutely. Um, just remember, every um, comment is going towards entering um, our prize today, which is a Cybex Snogger, and we're being kind today and giving you a choice of colours. So we haven't got all the colours, no. but we've got um, the ones that we've got out here, so you can... So I'm going to grab that navy one, because that would go quite nice. That would, There's an extra one for the line, which is quite nice. Just come with it. I know, but you can have extra. <laughs> you can have two if It's you like want. when you have a takeaway, do I have two egg spring rolls? It's like, <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> is egg spring roll a thing? No, I think it's just spring roll. <laughs> Egg spring roll. I think it's just like, I just think it's just a spring, spring roll. roll. Vegetable spring roll. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, if someone offers you two, take two. <laughs> Always. The more food, the better. Exactly. We love it. <clears throat> Melissa's due the 6th of May, so she needs to get a move on, she said. <laughs> uh, not related to this video, Annalise's asked, but do you stock the Cybex Gazelle S? Would love a video on that or a comparison between the Gazelle and Upper Baby Vista. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do stock both. We have both on the shop floor as well, so we, we do. can do a comparison. Mm -hmm. Have we done the... I think we have done a comparison I, before. I think, I don't know if it was both those two pushers or if they were mixed in with the other ones. Mm. Um, but if the you want, we can always one. do a, um, a video PM the page <clears throat> yeah. and we can have a look and send you the link if you've already done one. Or like Kirsty said, you can um, organise a consultation, but we will keep bear it in mind to compare the two in a Absolutely. future live as well. Because they're very, very good pushers. They do very, very similar bits, but obviously yeah. have their own in special take on everything, yeah. which is lovely. Laura says she doesn't think her partner would let her get a new push chair. Oh, try, Aww. try. Can't have too many push chairs. Oh, we Sarah, need to... ah, Sarah, oh, says, Sarah. I need a baby so I can have a new push chair. Well, there you go, Sarah, <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> we'll What's help you one pick... more? Exactly. Yeah. Five, magic number. Is the foot muff available in the mustard colour at the back? Yes, yep. it is. Here it is. It's a nice colour. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. Absolutely. So what do they call that colour? Um... No, I call it okra, but I don't think it's called okra. No, I was trying to remember the colour. Is it mustard? Might be mustard. I know there's khaki. We've got khaki there, Soho grey. Navy. Navy. Red. River blue. River blue. We're going to call it mustard or okra. <laughs> and <laughs> if you say if you want that colour, we know exactly which one you mean. Yeah. Everyone else will be like, what do you mean? Yeah. No, nah, we know exactly. What Jolene says she's sorry she was late. Seven more days of homeschooling. You're not counting down then, are you, Jelly? <laughs> I was very happy with that announcement as well. I do not enjoy homeschooling and I'm glad I did not choose to be a teacher. No, no. I'm sure though like a reception age is a bit more fun. No, no. no. My daughter is year one and does not like doing her work with me. <laughs> do you not just do Play-Doh and play out in the sand? No, no. no. Oh. That's, that's more like play school or I'll nursery. I do play school, yeah. 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 That's what you can do. Touch. You can do the fun play stuff. Exactly. Sand and water tables, hand paints, everything. Yeah. What's the pram that you're looking at now in the nice patterned grey? We haven't yet, but we will be going through the Venici Tinum in a second. Do you want to do that one? Yeah. Again, Laura had four push chairs with a little boy. Oh, very nice. Loving the foot muff. Can you expect the difference between an occasional or permanent carry cot? 
So if you're permanent, you can use that for your all the time use for obviously um, main sleeping. If you don't want your motorcycle basket your crib, it comes down every to every night. Yeah, every night. It comes down to the depth of the carry cot and the mattress itself. Some manufacturers say no, actually it's not going to be used for that all the time um, use itself. They only want it to use for those temporary. It will never replace your main sleeping. One places. when we're allowed again, but like one day trips, you're going yes. to grandparents for the night. Mm -hmm. That's more like that, fine. and then have your standard visor's basket or bedside crib for the, most of the time. That's it. It's always one of those confusing areas because some websites will say, oh no, it's permanent, and someone will say anything. Bit of like, conflicting advice. Yeah. yeah. Always just, if you just stick to what the brand advises. That's it. Um, yes. the, the particular brand that you're mm. looking at, and don't, don't differentiate between the two. Yeah. No, absolutely. They're loving the mustard colour. Chloe loves the river blue. Sarah's mm. just said it's yellow. Ah, oh, it's, it's a different yellow. It's a different kind of yellow, though, Sarah. <laughs> what, what shade, though? Come on, Sarah, get the colour. Ashley's due the 23rd of April. Would the foot fit a bigger boo fox, too? Yes, yes. it would. Uh, have you got the Oyster 3 here today? Yes, it's hiding behind me. We're going to go through it in a minute. There are a few. We sort of picture you mean like you mean sort of like your city kind of push chair. So they're yeah. not too big, not too wide. No. Have the ability to all to be folded with the seat on, which is quite nice. Yeah. And you can have your carry cots as well. That's it. So it's nice to have four that do very similar, but in the feature wise, a bit more different against themselves. Oh God, Melissa's got a seven year old, a year seven, a year five, a year three, reception and a toddler and she's 30 weeks pregnant. Homeschool is not fun. I look forward to break time in your lives. Oh wow. God, I bet you have got your hands full. It's like working out what you can teach them now and then you're going to look at something else and you look at something or else. Or blend into one ages. after a while. Yeah. I'm sure they get break time at lunchtime. Yeah, that's what she's saying. She looks oh, forward to you. break times oh. and, and, and a break for our lives as well. Or going back on the 8th of March. Right. Shall I pass that to you and I'll have Thank a go? Thank you. Kelly's very remember. good with her push chairs, bless her. So we have got the Vinici um, Tinum. So this is the new push chair from Vinici. Um, tr traditional push chairs is really what they're known for, the big mm -hmm. bouncy push chairs, they're big nice. wheels, big suspension usually. But this is their more compact urban push chair, but they can do a bit of everything as well. Um, often compared to your Recaro and your Oyster 3 mm -hmm. um, because it works in quite a similar way. So, your carry cot is not suitable for overnight sleeping. The reason being that the carry cot mattress is really thick and it, it's not quite the same depth as it should be um, for approval for overnight sleeping. But I believe they are changing that. So, future models, it'll be a rolling change and they will slightly decrease the uh, mattress size and then it will be yes. a, uh, suitable when it's tested again. Everything changes, so, everything develops. Yeah, that's it. Uh, going on customer feedback and what their customers want. So, that folds up really nicely um, and tight to the hood and then you've got your ventilation panel so no you, flabby so, fabric no flabby fabrics definitely not it's a little bit tight just to pull it up but once you go up it's really um sits nice in place <laughs> you've also got the option to really extend out and sometimes like carry cot hoods tend to be the one hood that you oh, don't extend size. unless you're yeah. using t the same one like on your line yeah um, it tends to be the one that's a little bit smaller, but that does um, pull out and you've got a big um, extension panel there. It's nice and big, I think that is. is yeah. Yeah. I think out of our ones we've got here, I think she might be the biggest. The carry cut hood, yeah. Yeah, it probably is, because this one doesn't extend, it's just in your right position. So, yeah. Um, on this one, it works a little bit different. So you've got a magnet cover in here, and what happens is you push your hand through, and then it covers the shiny material on, of your frame. To give so you no something to actually hold on to. Yeah, and no fingerprints on there. So, to remove from your chassis. So, we've got a question here. The Wowie um, is for overnight sleeping, so it's for temporary overnight sleeping. Yeah. So, to remove it, you've got your buttons either side, so you do need to lift together, and you can then hold with your handle. And it, this, um, your different colours, so this comes in camo black. Camo black, camo grey, camo grey. You can get it in light grey, light grey, grey itself, and then the special edition and the special edition um, stylish gold. black. So that's got the it's called stylish black, but it's got that's your it. rose gold <laughs> um, detailing on it. So nice and easy to move. Like I said, this is a really thick mattress in this one, and that's the reason that it's not suitable for overnight sleeping. But like I said, it will it will potentially change. So at the moment, it's the only mattress they do for the Tinnum, but as yeah. you just said, someone, someone just asked, can you get a different suitable mattress? Oh, Not right, at the yeah. moment, no. but maybe You really later need to on. use the same mattress as well. Don't be adding things to your mattresses just because it's not being tested that way. So use, your apron zips in at the top, and then you've got your chassis. Anne-Marie has said uh, pattern is so nice. It's a nice little pattern, I think. It is. So even though it's camo, it's not camo. camo. No, it's yes. It's quite subtle. You don't really realise what it is until you look at it. It's got a shimmer to it. Mm. Though I think... Are they discontinuing the camos? I think so, yeah. 
So even though it's lovely. No, but if you want to. They're it. not going to be around forever, but yeah, no. you can still order at the moment. I think it's nice. I mean, it gives something a bit more colour. So even though it's like a grey, yeah. it's not grey. No, yeah, that's right. So you can buy your uh, Venetia Tinum in either two in one, three in one bundles, or you can also upgrade to the um, eye size bundle and have the ultralight um, car seat. So this is the bag that comes with all of your bundles. Ashley's just said, um, what's the make again? So this is the Venici Tinum. Yes. Uh, it's quite a clever bag because it comes with your coordinating... Change your map. Change your map, thank you. How's that? What is it called? <laughs> but it's very clever, so when you're not using it, you unzip it completely up, use your strap, and it's then a quite handy little car seat oh. organiser. So you just pop it over your I think it's clever though, because even though obviously you might use your changing bag for say maybe up to a year, year and a half, depending, yeah. you can then reuse that for another feature yeah. in the car when they get a bit older, which is Or nice. you sell it on with the rest of your pushchair, but we've got you that could, option yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to do it that way, you can do it that way. You can do it that way. <laughs> yes, it's nice. We like we like things that turn into something else. And yes. Longevity, don't we? That's the word. I was gonna say if I could think of the word for it, I'd say it, but I couldn't think of it. <laughs> we I'd do say, like it. Something like it. And it does have your little hook, so you don't have to take space up in your basket. You have just got your little hook, so you can just pop it on there. So your chassis, you've got quite big wheels there with some nice tread to take you over different terrain. Front wheels can be locked off. You just have to line these up at the side. Debbie saying, should. clever changing bag. Yeah, it is. It's not really something you think of changing into something else, is no. it? No. Handle of adjustability. Uh, it goes quite high, that's a little bit high for me at five foot six, and then really low for your shorter parents. It's nice, I like it. Basket, your back is quite high up, but even though you see with your seat and your carry cut on, you do have a zip panel here, so it still gives you access. So but you can't access here because of the bar, but open up the flap and you can put it in, and then you can also use it to put longer things through if you want as well, or zip it back up to keep it secure. Ashley said, great storage, um, the hooks are the best, Emily has said. L lots of people like hanging mm. their bags on their hooks, don't they? Um, little brake is in the centre, it's just down for on, up for off, so it couldn't be much easier. And then finally you fold, let's put the brake back on. You've got a handle here and a button. So press the button as you pull the handle. And nice and easy, nice and small. It's almost like you want to go, oh, oh where's it so going? Fast. Got it. it almost does it itself. Um, Ashley's asked, do the wheels come off? Yes, they yes, do. They do. I'm just going to have a look. You've just got a little silver um, pull bit just here. Pull that out. I'm not doing it. I think I'm doing it from the wrong angle. But you just pull there and then it will pull off to make it a little bit smaller. It doesn't freestand, but that's your fold she's size. Not, she's not a bad size, though. She's no. not, you know, not And it's even smaller if you did take your, your rear wheels off. Absolutely. All our frames come without the wheels, obviously, when you do buy them. So it's just nice and easy to slot the wheels on. To be able to travel with no automatic lock on this one but it does make it quite easy to then lift your handle up while you've got hold of your handle in the basket i like that feature if i'm honest i like yeah. the ease of it doesn't seem to matter does it no no because of how you pick it up exactly um, you don't have to worry about oh are the catch reattached or anything like that no you've got it there straight away yeah that's right can also do it with the seat unit which i'll do in a second as well oh i didn't put my thing back in your thingy so this is your seat unit Someone has said, do you guys advise on maintenance? Yes, we do. Take yep. the wheels off. If you always need to clean them, take them off itself or shower cap. Yeah. They are I dirty. Don't know if you've seen my video, shower cap off your head, put it on your wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you're coming out naked, put on there. <laughs> <laughs> so your seat unit on this one, like with your Wowie and like with your Oyster, but not like your Lime, is a lay flat seat unit. So you can pop that all the way back to make it suitable from birth. Five point harness. Same feature on your hood that you can unzip and then pull out to offer lots more protection. Footrest is adjustable. And a little extra feature for this one is your little um, crotch strap that goes around the bumper bar. You don't have to have it on all the time. If you don't want, you can pop it down. But it's just another way to stop baby sliding out or trying to escape while you're doing up their harness. Just sitting them up in the seat a bit nicer, isn't it, when they're, they're more smaller. secured in there, not wiggle out. Amy Nolan said, my selling point for a pram at the moment is being able to follow it with the seat attached. I think a lot of people are looking at that options now, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, all fabrics can, they're not necessarily can be taken off or to be washed, but a lot can be either uh, lukewarm water uh, with a little bit of um, 
some kind of soap, but obviously not harsh chemicals, or a good baby wipe can give a good um, scrub. And your, your harnesses, some of them can be detached to be cleaned if they need to, but if not, again, just a good baby wipe yeah. to shake it down. Shake it down. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the right word that everyone's going to know exactly what I mean. <laughs> you do get your apron as well with your tinum, and this just slides on up over the top, and you can pop that over the top with magnets and this just attaches to the outer of your seat to keep it held up it's nice it comes with included which is lovely yeah and there then that is a really nice cozy cozy space emily so, has said great selection of prams we have a lot of good selections of prams we going do on it's sometimes when we're choosing our lives and what we're going to cover it's really hard because you want yes. to have the stock and like Oh, we could do this today, or we could do this, or yeah. we can compare this. So many more options, absolutely. And you think, oh, should I do my favourite, or should we do someone else's favourite, or yeah. whose favourite should we do today? Yeah, so again, we're always open to suggestions, so please message or comment and let us know what you would like to see, because that's what we're doing it for, to make things a bit easier for you. Chloe Smith has said, um, just had to pop away, did I miss, did I just miss the one fold down with the seat on? Did we fold it with the seat on? Not done it yet. Not yet. No, so you're <laughs> Even right. I was like... I can't Did remember. I? Yeah. <laughs> it's when you concentrate you on the not? iPad, you don't always no. concentrate on what the other person's doing. It's when you sort of go, oh yeah, and the foot muff, I mean the apron. <laughs> so your bumper bar, it's not, it just swivel round, but it's not completely flexible, so you can move like that and then down to the other side to move it out of the way. And then just clips back on. And it's these buttons here that you use to remove your seat. Again, your foot rest can be higher up or further down. Now fold with the seat unit, pull your seat unit up, giving you access then to the same bar that we used before. Press the button and lift. And it actually doesn't add any more, really, no, to your seat unit. doesn't bulk it out. It doesn't make it any A little bit shape. higher, but it's not really changing the no. shape. It's and completely, it's got a bit flexible, so it It's can folded squish. in on itself, so your fabrics on the inside are all protected, and you can pop it straight into the boot like this. And then to get it back up again, nice grab your features. handle and your handlebar, wheels out, seat down. So the price for even each tinum, if I can work out this, <laughs> for the push chair, the carry cart, the car seats, the apron, the change bag, and car seat adapters is seven seven nine. At the moment, there is an offer at the moment for a free ISA fit space as well. Yeah. If you did want it with the I size bundle, so it's just a bit of an upgrade itself. Yeah, better car seat, better tested car seat. It is seven hundred and forty nine pounds. Is that right? Is that less than what you said before? Yeah. Seven seven nine. Maybe they switched. Maybe yeah. the other way around. Or maybe that. it's maybe one's two and one, one's three and one. Might be. <laughs> I'm Have trying a look to on the website. I'm trying to work it out. Are you trying to decipher the writing? Who's who wrote this? I have to say that wasn't my writing. Otherwise, no one would be able to read so it. So two and one is six hundred and thirty-nine. Seven four nine, I think, must be for your standard, and then seven seven nine for your upgrade. And your IQ base, if you want to go for that, which is goes with your ultralight car seat, is one hundred and nineteen pounds. Everything you need for under eight hundred pounds. Yes, and your special edition goes up slightly more expensive. It's seven four nine, eight two nine, and eight seven eight. Emily Snoot said, "Fantastic price." It we've been really so too, once we've yeah. worked out which one it is. It's a really, <laughs> it's a really popular bundle, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're getting everything for a good price. I said, um, everything people under. People do love that. Eight hundred pounds. You then, you know, you don't have to have the most expensive pusher to get a good quality pusher. Yeah, no, not really, at all. Really nice. Really. So that handy. is your Venetia Tinum. No more questions on the Venetia Tinum. Should we move on? Um, no, I don't. Unless anyone else has got any questions, there's nothing oh, I can see. Oh, something to bear in mind. Parent facing the seat unit is fifteen kilos. Forward facing, it's twenty two. Two. So slightly different. It's just the way it sits on it and where the weight distribution is. But fifteen facing you, which probably you're going to do anyway. Fifteen kilos, and then after that, That's they, they will probably be fine forward facing anyway. They're just saying fantastic price, uh, not bad. Um, Jolene is cleaning the oven while listing. I love cleaning the Multitasking, oven. Multitasking, do you? I, I don't. Would you like to clean mine? I absolutely mine? love it. Me and oven pride. We got on like house on fire. I love it. It's the satisfaction after. Yeah, it's that glass. See, my glass in mine, mm. you can't get, you can't take the bit of glass out inside. So Have you can't not? get, there's like a bit of glass and then the actual door. What about getting two get prongs in? or something like that and like pushing it up, moving it up and down? Yeah, maybe. There you go. Challenge for maybe the weekend I'll try there. That. Uh, let's have a look at the great prices. Um, 
Ooh. How much was it again? Melissa Locke's connection, unfortunately. Uh, so your uh, standard, with your standard car seat, is 749. Seven, um, your current upgrade to 779, and then no car seat. So two in one bundle, if you want to choose your own car seat, is 639. Your warranty is uh, a one year guarantee, oh, no, sorry, two year guarantee, I think it yes. is now this one. And then I think you can upgrade for an extra one year. Um, to three years. Up to three years if you sort of register them and then so many yeah. months. You're, I think are you talking about Babestar? Uh, no, Vinici. Oh, Vinici. So. Sky is obsessed with cleaning at the moment. <laughs> that's all we can do. That's clean it. Clean and go out. Those who can, can go to work, but when you're at home, walk the dog and you can clean. Exactly. And exactly. try and look after your children. So. And try and have two children. Look after your oh, children. Oh, look after children. If you have children. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bit confused. I was like, okay, you can try and do that. <laughs> Sorry. What, in that time they're in lockdown? <laughs> you could have twins. Oh, Melissa said you can get an oven scraper for a few pounds. Best invention ever, Amazon. Ooh. Have a look. Send us the link. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, mine's do a bit of a clean. <laughs> what else do you recommend? I love it. So, um, we have demonstrated this millions of times, and you've probably seen it lots of times, but it is If nice you know what we're going to say today. before we say it. <laughs> yeah, we, we say this all the time. If we have certain ways of demonstrating a pushchair, and you have the same little jokes or little bits that you say about it every single time. So at the same point. So if, if anybody's watching us and seeing it again, you're probably like, oh yeah, she's going to say this We've seen this one. Uh, Emily, Rachel, uh, she says, nothing to do with these pushchairs, but do we sell uh, bugaboo accessories? Yes, we do. Just yes. depending what it is, just let us know. But we can order probably out. anything. It's just yeah. whether we've got it in stock or not. So, no, yes, we do. So, Oyster 3, I was just going to check prices for you quickly. Um, so, if you can buy this as the pushchair itself for 499 you can buy it with a car seat, uh, with a carry cot for 668 or you can then buy it in three different bundles. Your essential includes your car seat, base, and adapters, as mm -hmm. well as the other three items. Luxury bundle also includes your matching foot muff and your fatching. fatching. <laughs> Matching, matching uh, <laughs> changing bag, and then your ultimate bundle also includes lots of different extras. Like there's a, a lock to put on if you have to put your like when you go to centre parks, if you have to lock it up anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a bottle holder, you've got a parasol, parasol rain cover for your infant car seat, yeah. and a rocket rocket. Rocket rocker. Now, what a rocket rocket does is you can attach it to your pushchair itself, and if little one obviously stirs and whatnot, if you're in a restaurant, you just turn the rocket on and it'll gently rock what your you, pushchair. What you do? Yeah. It kind of does that, but does it? And also, if you've not seen it, Zed is very clever as well. Zed is the Rocket's little astronaut friend. That's who it. You put him on the mattress instead. He's a nightlight, and he also vibrates through the mattress and replicates that kind of car feeling. Because so some children are natural, really always want motion. Just want to move, don't yeah. They? That's the thing. It's the only thing. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. Um, everyone's loving the colour. Absolutely love it's it. It's beautiful. So this is your regatta. You may know that um, Oyster, they've just announced their brand new colours. Mm -hmm. So they are keeping a few colours. They're keeping caviar. They are keeping pepper. They are keeping mercury. I'm listening to you on this one. I think that's them all. And then there's um, new colours that we've released. So there's like a mustardy colour. And that is a nice colour. There's a cherry colour. That's a nice colour. There is tonic, which has got like a different weaved fabric on it. There nice is new ones to come Vanilla, combat. which is vanilla. <laughs> That's, that's all that's I can say, good, it's a vanilla. It's a good word to describe <laughs> it. It's, it's a vanilla -y, ice creamy colour. Absolutely. Yeah. I post about them all the time, and they're due um, slightly different times, but like April, May kind of time. Uh, yes, Zeds are available on our website, Sky. So that's there as well. Um, so, the Oyster 3 carry cot, suitable for overnight sleeping. It does have your ventilation panel. <laughs> to make it cooler for the, the warmer months or if you're using it inside and want to help with airflow. Everyone likes the oyster, looking forward to ordering it, can't wait for, you know, it's so popular. It is very popular. So popular. Yeah. People do love it. They're definitely doing something well at the baby style. Removing this, uh, oh sorry, I'll talk about the apron first. So your apron poppers onto each side and then also zips, so it's really nice and sturdy in there. I think we've got things underneath the mattress it looks a bit wonky Faye Victoria says the new mustard on the oyster looks so so it's nice it's my favorite I say it's my mustard. favorite yeah. mm. I think Georgia said hers with favorite was cherry right which is kind of a pinky red yeah it's a bit it's a nice pinky red though. yeah uh, um, they're doing some on nice a colors. chrome chassis some are chrome some are your um, city gray chassis which is really popular Oh, talking about frame colours, Melissa yeah. has asked, can the frame come in other colours? So it depends which colour pushchair you buy. So um, a lot of the colours come on this chrome chassis, so your regatta, your... Um, Alpine green, Alpine green, pebble. Pebble, mercury, which is your light grey, can come on it. Caviar. Caviar. Peacock. 
Yes, and regatta, five. And, and then some come just on a, so your pepper and your... Mercury, berry. No, berry come just on the city grey, and then your mercury you can choose either um, city grey or mirror. Absolutely. Did so we cover everybody? Uh, and if you want noir, which is a black frame, oh, black yeah. fabric. There you go. So it's the same colour as your caviar, but it's on um, a black. Ashley has said, literally falling in love with it. Oh, I know, we've not even really talked about it. I know, it. we've just mentioned the colours and the hood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to remove your chassis, it couldn't, uh, carry cot, couldn't be much easier. You've got a little handle here, and lift away with your handle on your hood. Easy as pie. You can also move that back. And then as well, I think we must have one up already. We've got our feet out. Got our feet out. Didn't, couldn't, couldn't do my um, demonstration in the same order that would usually do it in. <gasps> it's not me, it's oh not me. Oh my God. So on the floor, if you're in the house, you can pop it down and you can give it a bit of a rock. Or if that does disturb baby, don't tip it up with a min. Um, but <laughs> Again, can, that's one of the little jokes we do. Again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you can pop your little feet out and it keeps it stable and doesn't disturb them if, that, if they don't like that movement. Or Absolutely. If they've gone to sleep. Do not disturb the baby. So, looking at just the chassis, mm -hmm. you've got an adjustable handlebar. Again, goes quite nice and high. It's covered in the leatherette, and the leatherette does vary depending on which colour you choose. Someone said they like the brown handle. It's it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's a really it's like a deep, chocolate one. chestnut y chocolate. Oh, chestnut isn't it? sounds mm. good. Yeah, if you look at that, though, it's just like a chestnut, isn't it? Oh, it that is shiny actually. Chestnut mm. Someone's been in the woods a few times. Yeah. So, your brake, you can pop on at the back off again at the front or you can just do it off in the back as well it's up to you folding you can do fold with or without your um, seat unit on you do have um, easy to remove rear wheels and your front wheels are lockable this time you've not got buttons on either of your wheels but you've just got a slide in motion so just slide it over push it until they lock into place I like that. I think out of all, all, a lot of the yes. pushers we have here is the easiest one it's to easy. front wheel. And then back to removable. And you Melissa has said, lots of research after this live. I think <clears> I was looking at another eye candy peach, but the oyster looks awesome. Can I just say, you know the word awesome? Have you ever broke it up? Can you have a wee sum? <laughs> or awesome. Yeah. Oh, we, a wee sum. Uh, a wee have a wee sum day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you sound a bit Scottish then. A wee sum. Have a wee sum or day. Or a bit... Japanese maybe? Um, so, fold in. <laughs> <laughs> Two triggers, pull these up, walk the chassis back down to yourself and down oh, well, to the ground. E Ooh. Easy. For <laughs> Nietzsche, there's no need to trip me up while I'm done straight a different push chair. Jealous, that's what it is. Jealous. Rude. Um, so that's your, your fold. Doesn't stand. I think it's just the wheels. I've not got my, have I got, it's because I've not got the wheels out. Go the other way. <laughs> there we go. There you go does fold. <laughs> and it does free stand. And it does free stand. Um, just pull your handle up, <clears throat> throw it back out to get it back up right. And then you can do the same once you've moved onto the seat unit. Or you may just buy the seat and the chassis for 4 dollars and use it from birth because it's a low flat seat unit so you can do that if you wish. Kirsty has asked, oh, um, asked which is the lightest of all these push chairs. As Kelly said, if you sort of let us know, we'll find out the weights and exactly. Yeah, we'll check the exact weights um, for you. Because sometimes they can vary depending if you have either the carry cot on there or obviously if you have the weights with the wheels and whatnot. So let us know how you want and we can let you know the exact weights for them. So, um, yeah, we have had people come into store and just bought the, seat, the mm -hmm. seats, the chassis and the foot muff and then it's a nice cosy space to put, uh, have your newborn in there. It's just nice got one. to bear in mind that you've got to fasten them in yes. with a harness. Nice it's big hood not though. Yeah, extendable hood, so not the biggest if it was back here, but nice that you can extend that out. You see, you know, on here, we have got the Oyster 3 um, fleece liner, reversible. It's nice. So it's like what you may have seen in the egg. They've mm -hmm. done the same for the Oyster 3. The Oyster 3 seat is a little bit different to anything else you may have seen, because you've got two buttons on the outside, which then moves your hood, your harness. How easy is that? And your hood up to give higher um, height between the hood and the seat, so more head clearance. So really easy to move it up and down and because of that you need to have a special foot muff and a special um, liner to go on so your headrest can come through mm -hmm. and then moves up and down together. I mean it's a lot easier to auto and obviously the other ones we have to refread through, that's, that yeah, one can easily do that. So this um, is actually an extra £40? Yes. Yeah, £40 if you want to buy it as an extra. 
but it just slots then around your headrest that's already there in place. Uh, Emma Williams, my little one is just about ready to move from the carry cot to the push chair from the oyster itself. We've got the oyster tray. Yeah, yeah. which is quite nice. Yeah. Um, Daniela, I think it is. Uh, when will we have the new oyster colours in? Um, and obviously it's got a magnetic belt. Yes, yeah. I will, um, I'll talk about that in a second. So your bumper bar is um, completely movable. So if you've already got an Oyster 3, if you like the look of the harness on the new Oyster, you will be able to buy as an extra. We haven't got any details at the moment about how much it will be or when it will be available, but it will be a few months um, time. So not straight away. So at the moment, obviously you can press your button and you've got four parts that then clip together and into the sides of the buckle. Whereas the new one, um, it's a magnet, so this bit just kind of clips on top. If you've not seen the video, check out it out on the Facebook page. It's really, really clever. But you can upgrade your buckle. That's a good. That's nice. And harness done that. to the new one. That's yeah, good. which is nice. Yeah, it just means that people who haven't just bought an Oyster Three are like missing out on the new tricks no, and things. Oh, I wish I'd waited. That's nice. I like that. I like that. No, it's really nice of them to do that. <clears throat> we do appreciate that. Thank you, Baby Sam. Um, is the fluffy? So Emily, is the fluffy seat cover be used in other prams? So. I wouldn't necessarily use the Oyster one, would you say? Just Not the, the Oyster one as much, yeah, because it has got the, the hole for your headrest for your Oyster 3, but the egg one works very well on different pushchairs, and yes. we've, worked, we've put it on quite a lot, uh -huh. Just because it hasn't got that indent yeah. for that space for it. And I think it. we are selling those off slightly cheaper because it's the original egg rather than the new egg 2, and they're £30. Exactly. Can't beat that. And yeah. then they're nice cream colours, matte some yep. greys. Absolutely. Uh, Melissa so. has asked, does the Maxi Cozy Pebble Plus fit this pushchair? Yes. Nice and easy question, that Lots one is. Lots of different um, brands you can use on here. You can use Joy on here. Joy's been tested. Cybex car seats have been tested. Mm -hmm. Maxi Cozy. And, and they also own. do their own <laughs> capsule car seat as well that you can use on, which is in um, your bundles. If you buy near the Essential Luxury or Ultimate bundles, it's in there as well. Um, removing the seat, it's not as easy to see because we've got the liner on, but it's still easy to access even with it on. Laura Ford has just said, I have a Joy Chrome and the Egg Fluffy Light insert looks brilliant in it oh, so fab. it does work yeah, it does yeah. work so it works on lots of different ones so you just lift up there so you've got no buttons to protect, press to move your seat unit you can then just turn it around and you've got it on as a forward facing seat <clears throat> i think it's one of the, one of the easiest ones to take on and off I yeah think. definitely so then you've got a forward facing seat again you can have your foot rest up or you can drop it down so just a question on here, here. Um, Ashley says, so if I order the Oyster 3 bundle soon, <coughs> can I get the new harness? Yeah, as soon as they're available, we will be posting on the Facebook page and it will be available, <coughs> I'd imagine, on our website as well. So we have got some of those pre-ordered. Um, so as soon as they come in, it will be after the first lot of new push chairs come out, but then you'll be able to order them. Kelly is the queen of all the answers today. I, I've seen the She's like the, oh, <laughs> I was like, she's like the oracle. I was like, no, nah, I've just seen the paperwork. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> So, folding with the seat unit on, I know somebody said that's one of the things that we really look for. Yeah. I'm quite lazy when it comes to folding mm -hmm. pushchairs, I don't want to take everything off. I know Jo always says she would rather take it off and then yeah. it's lighter, but I would just want to fold it all together, chuck it in my boot. Absolutely, absolutely. And that works for Kelly and the other way works for Jo. So, as uh, you yeah. said, horse to a field? <laughs> horses for courses. Horses for courses. <laughs> I was like, I know it had a horse in there somewhere. <laughs> Uh, so you can do it front facing, you can do it forward facing, the, the fold is a little bit um, easier to do and more compact forward facing I'd say, I usually forward yes, face it, but yeah. you can do it if you've got your seat on uh, parent facing. Use your recline button to move your seat unit forwards, then do exactly the same thing, triggers to do your handlebar and now you've got a little handle on the back of your seat, lift up and That's then nice. you've got and a carry together. handle all together and not adding much more shape to your chassis. I like it. As she says, so easy. Skies were torn, torn, torn. Oh my gosh. Torn. torn between this one and the lime. Yeah. Um, Jolene has asked, what push chairs go up for taller children? Mine have all been giants. Um, I'd say your oyster's got quite a nice. Yeah, height. because your head, your head rest and your harness and your seat unit all move up together, you've got more head clearance. As she says, pro at answering all the questions. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Like we do try. We do that sometimes with very hot Yeah, sometimes we don't yeah. know. <laughs> and we just like, have to we'll, be a bit we'll honest and say. And because you're looking at so many push chairs all the time, it's not all up here. No. So no, we no, do no. have to refer back to things sometimes. Exactly. Get it back up again. Take your automatic lock off. Throw your wheels out. Debbie said nice fold. Thank you. <laughs> the push chair, not just me doing it. Is that what you're saying? Well, unless you want... Well, I'm a, it's you as well as the push chair, Kelly. It's you as well as the push chair. And then back up, ready to roll again. It's nice, easy to get it back up again, which it is. is lovely. Yeah, it not is. too difficult, not too awkward. No. 
that's all of the push chairs. Has anybody got any questions on any of the ones that have gone through? Which is your favourite and why? Exactly. Sorry, I was listening, but I'm reading at the same time. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's hard because you don't want to miss any of the things. No, you? So exactly. You're trying to keep up with um, them so fast. Great idea with the fold, especially if you don't want to get caught in the rain. That was from yeah. Sky. Um, Kirsty Jane says that's nice. Um, Ashley, yes, same lazy and wants a fold and got with. I think well, the thing is, if you've got a pair of seat unit on, if you've not got room in your boot, if you've got shopping already in your boot, where you can then gonna, you've got to find somewhere to put your seat unit or your carry cart exactly on yep. the floor. If it's rain, it's not gonna be nice. Whereas if you can fold it all together, Kirsty says, "I'm shocked how much you guys do remember." So are we sometimes we do try. Yeah. yeah, like I said, sometimes it's a bit you've gone a bit of autopilot and you kind of got this whole like when then it was it was it threw me off. I couldn't do it in my normal no spiel. routine for it all yeah. routine. Um, I have the Oyster 3 and love it. Please, can you show Good. us fold and the parent facing as I struggle every time? Oh, all right then. <laughs> if you ask asking. If you ask nicely. She can fold parent and world facing. You yeah. just might find with parent facing, your weight and then the shape of everything goes a bit in the reverse. So fold it backwards rather than forwards and then it's just the same. Nice and easy. Yeah. Hope that helped. <clears throat> but then it's just then getting it back up is a little bit more awkward. You just do it in the reversey way of doing yeah, it. Yeah, because I'm just thinking the best way to show you because your wheels are going to come out from there. So take your lock off. Pull your wheels out. She says. <laughs> from here. You got it? Yeah. Pull your front wheels out. I didn't put my brake on, so that didn't help. Get your legs wheels are out. wheeling away with me. And then you can then... See what I mean? It's a little bit... It's not quite as intuitive as forward facing, but um, for those quick and easy trips for a parent facing child, yeah. it can be done. Because a lot of these ones are either, obviously you can start a well, <coughs> you can fold parent or well facing, yeah. but your lime... Has to be forward. Same with the tinum? No, that can... That would be parent, that can, parent So about them all, it's just the lime that can only fold parent face, uh, well facing. Well facing, yeah. Um, Oyster has taken over my love of the lime. Um, Fiona says, which had the built-in buggy board? That's the lime. Lime uh, and the coconut. <laughs> Put them all together. <coughs> um, oh, Anna has said the ladies are true pushchair experts. Hi. That is us. Uh, Andrea said I was going to buy the Acaro, but you guys have persuaded me. I'm going to order the Oyster now. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, we didn't have the Acaro because we always compare the Oyster and the Acaro. Mm -hmm. So we thought we would mix it up a little bit today. Lots of people have been asking about the Oyster. So we're showing you some other comparable pushchairs as well. Absolutely. Uh, I think... That's the majority of things. No other questions so far. Such Brilliant. a smart looking pram, very helpful. Why I love these lives, especially as we can't go out and try them at the moment. And I think the nice thing when we do the lives, we will say we don't make them as easy. So yes, we know how to fold them, but we'll say, okay, yeah, it's to be folded this way, but it's not the easiest. Yeah, I think we, we try to be as honest as we can. We don't want to make something seem something that's not. No. Um, and, and hopefully give you some ideas of ways to do things that you may not have thought of just by seeing pictures on the website. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Angela's given a heart, which is lovely. So yeah, no, nothing major. Should we draw a prize? <gasps> Should we draw a prize? Ooh. Oh my gosh, am I doing the iPad thing? Yeah, if you want. No, I don't trust myself. No? <laughs> you don't need to do anything. You can just stop. Yeah, but me and technology, so I'm not the best at uh, technology. No. If I anything will... is doing computer-wise, Kirsty will often ask, can yes. you help me? Exactly. I had to ask how to zoom in and out of a computer screen this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Got told twice because I forgot how to then put it back. <laughs> <laughs> you can just too zoomed in. Yeah. I was like, go zoomed in. I was like, okay, how do I zoom it out now, Shannon? Why don't you just do this? Do I do what? You did it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it wrong. I miss someone. And also, then it's all on you. <laughs> yeah, well, she did it. Exactly. Someone's higher up to pass the buck. Yeah. No, don't blame me, really. <laughs> Usually it's me. I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, crap. Did I do that right? See, see. Right, what are you going for, guys? Choose your colours. Pick which colours you now. fancy. I'm going to start scrolling, all right? You ready? Yes. I'm scrolling. You tell me when. Stop. Sky Newell. Oh, lovely. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sky. Hopefully, you um, can use that on your push chair. Which colour are you going to go for? I'm Got just going to comment. to choose from. And you might want to contrast. So, for instance, if you have got an AD push chair, you might want to go for a nice mustard or a nice red itself. Yep. Which is really, really nice. You can sort of make them their own, which is lovely. All you need to do, um, Sky, is just Facebook message the page with your name, your email address, your telephone number and your postal address and we will ship your, the colour of your choice 
out to you. It can be as so, simple as that. Well done. Mustard, she's going mustard. Oh, very nice. Lovely, we will um, bag one up for you if there's not already one out there. I think we have and got one already in this one already bagged, yeah. And we will send that out to you. So. Very nice. Hopefully that's helped everyone either look at comparisons yeah. and some compares. Throwing a few um, spanners in the work, as works as somebody uh, mentioned earlier. So thank you for joining us today. We'll be back again um, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Friday is a really good live. So if you do subscribe to the website, you will receive um, just a little hint on Ooh. Thursday night, an email, just to let you know what we're looking at. But it's a really good prize. Again, one that you get choice of. Very nice. Um, yeah. So um, join us um, tomorrow and have a great day. Bye. Bye.